One topic in the news lately has been the origins of SARS-CoV-2. I mean, do you believe or is there evidence that SARS-CoV-2 was made in a lab in China or accidentally released from a lab in China? Well, you know, there, there's two issues. If you look at the evolution of the virus in bats and what's out there now, it's very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated, the way the mutations have naturally evolved. A number of very qualified evolutionary biologists have said that everything about the stepwise evolution over time strongly indicates that it evolved in nature and then jumped species. One of the issues of saying, could that virus that was in, first of all, if you, if you accept the, the, the premise, which is very strongly supported by scientific evidence, that it was not deliberately media, uh, uh, mutated and deliberately changed. And you say, if it was in the wild and evolving, the likelihood it jumped species naturally, someone will say, well, maybe somebody took it from the wild, put it in the lab, and then it escaped from the lab. But that means it was in the wild to begin with. <laughs> so that's why I don't get what they're talking about. If it isn't manipulated in the lab, and you're trying to say it escaped from the lab, then how did it get in the lab? <laughs> it got in the lab because somebody isolated it from the environment. So that's the reason why I, I don't spend a lot of time going in that circular argument. And um, like you said, it is, it, there's a lot of cloudiness around the origins of COVID-19 still. Um, so I wanted to ask, are you still confident that it developed naturally? No, I'm not convinced uh, about that. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China until we find out to the best of our ability exactly what happened. Certainly, the people who've investigated say that it likely was the emergence from an animal reservoir that then infected individuals, but it could have been something else. And we need to find that out. So, you know, that's the reason why I said I'm perfectly in favor of any investigation that looks into the origin of the virus.